Hey guys, Brody Swisher here, and today I want to give you a closer look at a turkey call we've been talking a lot about in recent weeks. We've had a lot of questions about this call. It's a tube call, a turkey gobble call that I used in our turkey vest dump a few weeks ago. If you didn't see that video, be sure to check it out in the link here. Our turkey vest dump, we went through all the gear that we use. One of the call uh, that I particularly keep in my turkey vest is a tube call. It's a simple 35 millimeter film canister with a balloon stretched across it. A lot of guys have been saying, hey, what is that call? Who makes that call? Uh, tell me how you use that call. Uh, when I speak at wild game dinners and sportsmen's events at churches around the country, this is a call I blow on stage, and a lot of people always come by the booth afterwards asking, hey, tell me about that call. Who makes it? What is it? And so with all the questions we've got today, I want to share a quick video on how to use this call, how to make this call. It's a do-it-yourself call. Uh, again, it's just a 35 millimeter film canister. Cut the bottom of it out stretch a balloon across it. It's basically just the old snuff tube call from back in the day. I know Primos is bringing it back with their little foggy bottom snuff tube call. Um, great sounding call, but again for me it's all about gobbling on this call and that's what I think the heavier latex, that heavier balloon sounds so much better than a lot of the calls on the market. But where it comes in, where it shines is in the gobble or the Jake Kalkin. Here's that gobble. And it's got a great sound. I'll throw it a different direction to maybe sound a little different. And that's that gobble, just a real good, deep, throaty gobble. Uh, but you can also do that Jake Calkin sound. The Jakes will calk when they see a bird gobbling. Uh, when they're trying to gobble, maybe, they do the calkin or just that trying that half-hearted gobble sound uh, where they're learning how to gobble. It sounds like this. So you can do all kinds of sounds just to entice that gobbler to your direction. Now one of the popular tactics these days is crawling behind a strutter decoy. Whether you call it fanning, crawling, sneaking, reaping, whatever it is, using that strutter out front and you crawling behind it to crawl up on a turkey. So it makes sense to use that turkey gobble tube. Gobble at him, get his attention, he looks up and sees you with that fan, that strutting decoy, you crawl out there and approach him and engage him. Now listen, I know it goes against everything we've ever been taught in hunter education. We were told don't look like the animal, don't sound like the animal, don't act or imitate the animal that you're pursuing for fear of being shot. So when we blow the tube call, we make the sound of a gobble, or we're crawling around with the turkey strutting decoy, you better be careful. You better know who's around you. Don't use it on public land. Keep it safe. Use common sense when you're blowing that call. Don't go blowing the call through the woods where you know there's other hunters. Don't go blowing a gobble call through public land. It's a good way to get killed. All right, here's another tube call I just stopped and made in the middle of this video. It literally took less than a minute. I took a pocket knife and cut off the bottom of that canister. It's kind of crude. It's not a real clean cut. Uh, I've used a Dremel in the past to make a nice, clean, uh, hollow tube. For the sake of this video and make it quick, do it yourself. I just use a pocket knife. You can do it anywhere. Uh, use anything. You're basically just lopping off the end of that tube, that canister. And then I took a pair of scissors, took a pair of scissors and took a balloon. Again, cut that mouthpiece, just that mouth ring uh, off that balloon. I use that again as the rubber band to hold the latex into place. These black film canisters have a little lip on the top of it so it holds that balloon and keeps that rubber band from sliding off so it works really good. Uh, but stretch it across there, get the right tension you want on there. Uh, you have to play with that sometimes. If it's too tight, it sounds high pitched. If it's not tight enough, it won't make much of a sound at all. So get the right tension on there. Again, pocket knife, film canister, balloon is all you really have in the mix. And let's see what this one sounds like. <laughs> now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is a simple call to use. It takes some practice, it takes some time. But once you learn to master that sound, you'll have a call that's unlike anything else in the woods. A tick a sound. If you get your tongue rolling, tick a tick and then roll it right into that gobble. Great sounding gobble call for next to nothing. I promise you, it'll turn more turkeys your way this spring. Hey, if you found this video useful, be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to it. Tell your friends about us. We'd love to see you right back here next time for more great hunting content. Shoot straight. God bless.